What's up guys, today I'm going to be doing a different type of video today, and this video is going to be my favorite to my least favorite um, Apple products, um, not Apple products, the Apple product category, so iPad, iPhone, Mac as a whole. So I would have to say that a lot of people will disagree with me on my first opinion, but my um, favorite um, Apple product category is probably the Mac. Now the reason why I love the Mac is because of its versatility. You have all these different computers. You have, let's say, a laptop, maybe a desktop, which is behind me, um, maybe even a tower. Like, you know, you have all these different type of computers you can get. You can get different sizes, like a 21.5 inch, you can get a huge 27 inch, you can get a small 13 inch laptop. And I absolutely love the operating system on Macs. It's called macOS. I'm pretty sure you guys would have heard of macOS by now, but um, macOS is extremely popular among creative types. And I absolutely love to video edit on my machine back there. Um, and Macs, I would say, have the longest uh, longevity of any Apple product. Um, iPhones have a pretty long longevity as well, but I say Macs, I mean, especially the newer Apple Silicon Macs, I personally don't have any experience with Apple Silicon Macs. I've used them, but I don't have any experience with actually owning one of them per se, but I definitely love the Mac the most out of any Apple product because they are just so ver versatile and they're my favorite Apple product. So my second favorite Apple product category, I would have to say goes to the iPhone. Now I absolutely love the iPhone and I'd say it is awesome. Um, it's like a really, really amazing Apple product. Um, but I would also have to say, um, I don't just want to give the best product just to the iPhone. I actually want to say, um, AirPods are on par with iPhones. Um, I feel like they are the same quality to me. They work so seamlessly together because I like AirPods and iPhones the same. They pair extremely well with any iPhone you have. Um, I'm just showing an iPhone 10 right now, um, but yeah, they pair well with any iPhone you have. They're incredible audio listening devices. Let's talk about AirPods first. AirPods, you open the case and you take them out. It's that's it. It's so easy easy to connect on your very first try connecting them. It literally takes no effort at all to connect them, and they're loved among music lovers like me and you. And I absolutely love them. Now there are obviously just like the Mac, there are a lot of different flavors of AirPods. You have obviously the regular pods, and you also have other flavors like the over ear, like the AirPods Max. And you have some fancier ones that noise cancel, like AirPods Pro and AirPods Max do that too as well. But I feel like AirPods are a really great category of Apple products, which I really love. Now. The next category, as I talked about, um, is going to be iPhones. iPhones work so well. In my opinion, they're the best phone on the market. I mean, even though they don't have these crazy features that Android phones might have, they're still the best solidly built phone. And something that I don't feel that Apple gets enough credit for, because some, a lot of people like to bash on Apple for not having the most features in their devices, like such as the iPhone. Like, you might not have a fingerprint sensor built into the screen. Like, not a lot of people, you know, need that, but, you know, some people want it. It would be nice to have... Um, a lot of people want rid of that face ID because of the ugly notch, as you can just see right there. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't like the notch because of its ugliness. I don't, like, really mind it. I've had my iPhone 13, um, for, you know, a few months now, several months now, and I've not ever cared about the notch in any way, shape, or form at all. So I feel like the iPhone is the best, technically, best phone ever, without even without getting any crazy features like some other phones get. Now, I honestly forgot to talk about this one. I'd say just behind the iPhone and AirPods, I also like the Apple Watch. Now, the Apple Watch is the best-selling watch in the world, not smartwatch. The best-selling watch in the world. Um, that's something pretty incredible from a company that was made, you know, about 40 years ago and started shipping these about seven years ago. Now, I'd say that um, watches have been around way longer than seven years. And to have a best-selling watch ever to be only mark on the market for seven years is absolutely ludicrous. That is incredible. Apple did a bang-up job on the Apple Watch. The first, second, and possibly third Apple Watches were not anything to speak of. They were not the best products in the world. But, you know, they were pretty solid for what they were. But I feel like after the fourth watch and beyond, Apple had this system nailed. It tracks fitness. You can download apps on it like a real smartwatch. 
It has a lot more functionality than some of the other smart watches that I've seen in my lifetime. So enough with that. We're gonna check out my least favorite Apple product right now. And it is, can you guys guess it? The iPad, yeah. iPad is my least favorite Apple product. It's not because it's a bad device. It's because it's boring in my opinion. It's so stale. Apple, I feel like has not done much with this. And Apple, please let me get Mac OS on the iPad. I know a lot of people, including myself, who would die to literally have, like literally die to have Final Cut Pro on iPads with a touch rate. That would be a great suggestion, Apple, but you know, fine by me. And post in the comment section if you agree with me, disagree with me, maybe you think I'm totally wrong, maybe you think I'm totally right. If you think I'm totally right, then you are correct. So that about wraps up our video about Apple products. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.